responsibility. Now, I'm going to tell you a little story. It's a very simple story, but simple stories scale upward. And that's Jacob's ladder. Jacob's ladder, that's the eternal liana, the vine that unites the material and proximal realm of the earth with the eternal realm of heaven. Jacob's ladder is in Genesis chapter 28, and J- Jacob is asleep on this ladder. Like, he is not climbing towards heaven. <laughs> okay, It says that the, the Lord was standing there, and it, it appears that the Lord himself is the ladder. John chapter 1, Jesus says, by the way, I was that Lord. I'm, I'm Jacob's Lord. I'm the one who was there, who is the stairway to heaven. Jesus Christ is the, the stairway, and the angels d- ascend and descend. Humanity is not the one climbing itself up to heaven by its own effort. As soon as you talk in those terms, you start to sound like Genesis chapter 11. What's Genesis chapter 11? Tower of Babel. God doesn't like the Tower of Babel. God does not like us thinking that we can ascend and climb and scratch and grab and get on top and make a name for ourselves. <laughs> God scatters the way of Babel. So whatever's going on with, with Jacob's ladder in Genesis 28, it is not a redoubling of our efforts to do the Tower of Babel. Unfortunately, with, with Jordan Peterson, um, so much of the scriptures are kind of like inverted at this point. We don't climb our way to heaven. The whole point of Genesis 28, and it's confirmed by Jesus in John chapter 1, is he is the one who comes down. The union of heaven and earth is not brought about by earth. It's brought about by the prince of heaven, Jesus, who descends. Not Jacob or any of us who ascend.